Hello everybody, this is Paludic, aka S.A. Hikari. Today I am making a tutorial on how to make a mascot type mask. Like this Garurumon, or this Giyomon. The materials you will need to do this are sewing scissors, a hot glue gun, lots of glue sticks, a ski winter hat, a ski mask, or blava kava. The material you would like to use in making your your mask. Lots of foam. I just brought up a small amount to show you. Oven bake clay or sculpey. And duct tape. And cross stitch material. Also a sewing machine or sewing supplies if you want to make if you want to sew your your pieces onto your mask. If you have a ski mask or a blava kava, you don't need to do this first step. But if you do have a hot winter hat just that goes on top of your head, you will have to do this. Make sure you stretch out the entire thing so it's as big as can be. Then once you have it all stretched out, pull it way down over your eyes so that it's long and so that you realize that it's long enough to be a mask. Then, make sure, then pinpoint where your eyes will be by, by touching the places where they are and then like taking off the mask, taking it off, and then cutting a me medium sized hole that will accommodate both your eyes. Pull it down some more past your chin and adjust as needed. Make sure the hole isn't big or wide as the mask will not work. Once you have done that first step, it should have this about this size of a hole in it. Make sure it's not too big, or like I said before, it will like slip off and not really work that well. Then cut out the bottom jaw, like the bottom jaw here, or here. And attach it to where your chin will be, like Right, uh, right below the hole. Then after you do that, put try it, try it on again, and move your mouth op oh, open and shut. It should move up and down like this. Once you've got it right and you've adjusted all that you need to, cut out the top part of the snout. This part. Make sure it's big enough to to be like a smaller jaw like this, and and fix fits across your nose. Make a cavity in the top part like this so that your nose doesn't get all plugged up, and so that you'll be able to breathe that breathe well. Make sure you shape it correctly, and use a long strip of foam like this on both sides. and glue them onto your mask from your from here from this point on the snout this should create the entire snout effect like on Giamon after you've tried it on and made sure it works well and like changed it around so that you get it the way you want you have to cut out the features such as on Giamon the ears and the ridges. Or on Garurumon, the spikes. After you've done that, shape them and glue them onto the place where they're supposed to be. Like on this other rendition of a mask, the ears are going right here. Cut them so that the they round they're rounded with the scissors so that they aren't like jagged and pointy. Then cover the entire mask full of foam, even in places where it doesn't need to be. This gives it muscle and shape. It will it won't look good first, but after you trim it down, 
using the scissors like this. It'll start to look better. Make sure you get all the effects you want, such as the eyebrows. Well, there's no eyebrows on this one. And the nose. Okay, so after you put all the foam on and all the blank spots and shaped it to the way you want, it should look something like this. Now this was done pretty quickly and I changed the I changed the, the design to make it look like a little bit of Charmander. So it's gonna look kind of different. But once you've done this, you're, you take your duct tape. Hold on a second. And you cover the whole thing. Yeah. Here you go. This is what it should end up looking like. I used silver duct tape, so it's kind of like, looks kind of machine-like, like it's covered in tin foil, but seriously, this is duct tape. Yeah, well, you're supposed to cover the entire thing, except for maybe the inside part. Okay, so now I've drawn the pattern on, actually, the duct tape. You, know, I, you probably can't see it, but there's like lines here. And this will, when I cut it out, this will eventually become the pattern that you will use to cut the fabric out of. And you want to make it practical, so don't like make extremely huge pieces or pieces that go across curves. You'll have to make it make sense. You should cut the pieces out with this with like an exacto knife like this or like um, some really sharp really small scissors or else it's not going to get exact enough. Okie dokie. I cut it out and laid it out flat. Like you can see that here's the mouth part, here's the sides, back, head, and corners. Now all you need to do is put them on the material you're going to use and cut them out. You'll want to have a about a quarter inch left room though because because you know what if it crumpled up like it does here. Okay so here is the pattern on the material. Now you want to make it at least like a quart like a, maybe a half inch apart to each piece because you want to have at least a quarter of an inch um, on extra an inch piece because it makes it a little bit looser, easier to fit, and it makes it, um, you know, ha you can always trim it. Yeah. Once you've cut it all out, now it's your turn to try and make a decision. You have to figure out whether you want to glue your pieces together onto your mask or if you want to sew them together. Sewing them to the together makes them have a good feature and it looks well, it looks professional. But gluing on is easier, and um, it's all, all over quicker. While I will be making this Charmander out of glue, sewing it, uh, out of glue, I will de also demonstrate how to sew this. Basically, you just have to sew it like you would anything. Make sure that, that it always has about a quarter inch to have room. And then you flip it over kind of like this. And as you sew each piece together, you when you flip it upside down, it should it should fit onto your mask like a sock. The gluing part is basically self-explanatory. You just glue all the edges. You don't have to worry about gluing this part unless you want it to be, like, really sticky. Basically just glue around all the edges and then, like, trim the, trim the edges when you glue the other part, that the other end of this on.